But people weren't just sailing to Tintagel to sell exotic goods. Tintagel must have had something worth buying. For the people who are coming up the Atlantic seaboard, they would see Tintagel in the distance. That is the place that they are aiming for. That is their destination. It's an important harbour that will give them the resources that, that they want. Whoever controlled Tintagel had access to a rare commodity in high demand across Europe. This feels like a rural idyll, a quiet country lane winding its way through beautiful ancient woods. But in fact, just over this bank and hedge lies the secret to Cornwall's wealth and power in the Dark Ages. This was a major production centre, just 15 miles from Tintagel. Exploited by the Romans, it was still in business at the beginning of the 20th century. The secret to Cornwall's success was tin. What looks like a natural gorge was actually once the massive Mulberry Hill Mine, 120 feet deep, 130 feet wide, and 900 feet long. Cornwall's unique geology meant that it was one of only three sources of tin in Western Europe. It's one of the reasons the Romans came to Britain in the first place. Whoever's been mining that stuff for hundreds of years is going to get rich because the Mediterranean needs those resources. They will come. The Roman Empire needed tin to make bronze. And even after the Romans left Britain, Europe still needed Cornish tin. Whoever controls... The Roman Empire needed tin to make bronze. And even after the Romans left Britain, Europe still needed Cornish tin. Whoever controls Tintagel is the head of a large financial empire, and Tintagel is one of the, the big political players. We mustn't think of them being on the margins of anything. They are at the centre of a very sort of dominant, successful political world. <laughs>